everyone, welcome to Drinking with Susan. I'm Susan and this is Drinking with Me. Today we're going to try an easy peasy, fresh and squeezy, no lemon breezy though. Um, it is a vodka based cocktail called the Greyhound. Simple, simple. You're going to start with a Collins glass. I don't have a Collins glass. They go straight up and down. This is my beer glass kind of flares out. Sorry about that, I'm not a bartender. I don't have tons of fancy glasses. This is all that I have. For you bartenders out there, I apologize if I'm committing a major sin, um, but doing the best I can with what I got. So we're gonna take this beer glass, AKA Collins glass, and add two ounces of, of vodka. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna top it off with grapefruit juice. My grapefruit tree in the backyard doesn't have grapefruit yet, so I had to cave and buy some grapefruit juice. This is pink grapefruit juice. That's what it says in the recipe. Recipe game from Diffords.com. Awesome cocktail website. We'll put a link down here in the video. But all you're gonna do is top it off. Ta-da! Consider that topped off. Give it a stir. That'll chill the alcohol, makes it taste a little better. All righty, let's give it a shot, see how it tastes. Sweet, very grapefruit oriented. Don't taste a lot of the vodka, maybe three ounces would have been better, but then I probably wouldn't be able to stand in about an hour. If you like your bubblies, what I recommend is trying some of the flavored soda water. This is what, this is grapefruit sparkling water. It's from Aldi's, that's where I shop, love that place. Um, I've tried something similar with a sparkling lime and sparkling passion fruit and sparkling pomegranate juice, all were fantastic. This is good, not super strong. I can see myself drinking this when I'm laying out by the pool on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Just very refreshing. Once again, it's called the Greyhound. I think it should be called the Pink Hound, if you ask me personally. Not sure where the gray comes from. Highly recommend it. Not super strong. You could probably add some fruit to it, maybe some orange slices, lime lemon slices. Tastes real good, almost like a sangria. But anyways, that's the Greyhound for you. And remember, if it ain't ticks, it's fleas. So kick back, relax, make yourself a drink. I will see you next week. And remember, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below. And if you have a drink you want me to make, put it in the comments, please. We'll see what we can do. Thanks. Have a great week.